Hey, listen, this is Chuck the Bureaucrat, and I got a tip for you guys who are going to start working in the Pentagon this year. I worked there for almost 15 years, and there's something really important that I learned that'll make a difference in your lives. But before I do that, I got to remind you, I'm trying to build out my community of subscribers for my YouTube channel. So if you can help, I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel, like it, or just like this content inside of LinkedIn. If you are coming to the Pentagon for the first time, I can almost guarantee you that in about six to eight months, you're going to experience this sort of blah feeling. You're going to feel a little dampened. And that's going to kind of come out of nowhere. In fact, what you'll start to think is it's because of the work that you're doing or being at the Pentagon. But you're going to overlook one really important fact. And that is, how much sunshine are you getting exposed to? You see, sunshine helps the body make vitamin D. And vitamin D helps us maintain sort of that positive, upbeat mentality. Where you were before the Pentagon probably had you outside a lot. It had you doing lots of physical exercise. Then you come to the Pentagon, you get less sunshine, you get less exercise. It's just the environment that you're exposed to. And it's something that's easy for you to correct. You can take multivitamins, you can go out in the courtyard, you can go get some exercise. But don't let this make you feel that the Pentagon isn't the place for you. The fact of the matter is, you're probably doing a pretty awesome job, and we need you doing that awesome job. And that feeling of malaise that comes from not enough sunshine and not enough exercise is just one thing that has to be overcome. So listen, take care of yourself, take care of your buddies, do a good job, because if we're going to have a government that operates smoothly and effectively, it's going to start with people who are able to do their jobs smoothly and effectively.